In the vast expanse of human history, few events have sparked as much fascination, debate, and conspiracy as the moon landing of 1969. Imagine yourself sitting in a dimly lit room, the soft glow of a vintage television flickering before your eyes. It's July 20, 1969, and Neil Armstrong is about to take humanity's first steps on the lunar surface. The world holds its breath, united in awe and wonder. But as Armstrong's iconic words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, reverberate across the globe. A seed of doubt is sown in some minds. Could it be that this monumental achievement was an elaborate hoax? This question has persisted for over half a century, prompting intense scrutiny, passionate arguments, and even a Hollywood film or two. Today, we delve into the heart of this enduring controversy, exploring the compelling arguments from both sides, and examining the evidence that has kept the moon landing debate alive. First, let's travel back to the height of the Cold War. The space race was not just about scientific discovery. It was a fierce competition between the United States and the Soviet Union for technological and ideological supremacy. The U.S., reeling from the Soviet Union's early space triumphs, including Yuri Gagarin becoming the first human in space, was under immense pressure to make a grand gesture. President John F. Kennedy's audacious promise to land a man on the moon and return him safely to Earth before the decade's end was a bold declaration. Achieving this would not only demonstrate American ingenuity, but also serve as a powerful statement of geopolitical dominance. Against this backdrop, the moon landing was more than a scientific milestone. It was a symbol of victory in a high-stakes game of international one-upmanship. The skeptics argue that the pressure to beat the Soviets led NASA to stage the moon landing. They point to various anomalies in the Apollo 11 footage and photographs as evidence of a hoax. For instance, the famous photograph of Buzz Aldrin on the moon shows shadows that critics claim are inconsistent with the single light source, the sun. They argue that such discrepancies could only occur with multiple light sources, suggesting a studio setup. Additionally, the American flag appears to flutter in the wind, which should be impossible in the moon's airless environment. These anomalies have fueled theories that the lunar surface was actually a set, perhaps designed by Hollywood experts. Another point of contention is the apparent lack of stars in the lunar photographs. Critics argue that with no atmosphere to obscure the view, the moon's sky should be filled with stars. However, NASA has explained that the camera settings used to capture the bright lunar surface would have washed out the relatively dim light of distant stars, much like how city lights drown out starlight on Earth. This technical explanation hasn't convinced everyone, though, and the absence of stars remains a staple of moon landing conspiracy theories. The idea that the moon landing was faked gained traction in the 1970s, spurred by the publication of books such as Bill Casings, We Never Went to the Moon, America's $30 billion swindle. Casing, a former employee of Rocketdyne, which built the engines for the Saturn V rocket, claimed that it was technically impossible for NASA to achieve such a feat with the technology of the 1960s. His book became a cornerstone for the moon landing hoax community, raising questions about NASA's capabilities and the authenticity of the lunar missions. However, for every claim made by conspiracy theorists, there are robust counter-arguments supported by the scientific community. The shadows on the moon, for instance, can be explained by the uneven lunar terrain causing shadows to fall at different angles. As for the stars, professional and amateur photographers alike understand that exposure settings can easily explain their absence. Moreover, the moon rocks brought back by Apollo missions have been extensively studied and verified by geologists worldwide. These rocks possess unique properties that differentiate them from terrestrial rocks, such as the presence of certain isotopes and the effects of cosmic ray exposure, which are consistent with an extraterrestrial origin. If the moon landing were a hoax, replicating these unique characteristics would have been a monumental task, likely beyond the capabilities of 1960s technology. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence supporting the authenticity of the moon landing is the sheer number of people involved. Over 400,000 engineers, scientists, and technicians worked on the Apollo program, the logistics of orchestrating such an elaborate hoax, keeping it secret for decades, and ensuring that not a single whistleblower came forward seems highly improbable. Furthermore, during the Apollo missions, NASA's transmissions were monitored by independent observers, including the Soviet Union, which had every reason to expose a hoax if there was one. Another crucial piece of evidence comes from modern technology. In recent years, lunar reconnaissance orbiters from various countries, including NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, have captured high-resolution images of the Apollo landing sites. These images clearly show the remnants of the lunar modules, rover tracks, and even the American flags planted by the astronauts. 
These photographs provide irrefutable evidence that the Apollo missions did indeed land on the moon. Yet, despite overwhelming evidence, the moon landing conspiracy theories persist. This phenomenon can be partly attributed to a broader distrust in government and institutions, a sentiment that has only grown in the digital age. The internet has provided a fertile ground for conspiracy theories to flourish, allowing like-minded individuals to connect, share ideas, and reinforce each other's beliefs. In this echo chamber, any evidence that contradicts the hoax theory is dismissed as part of the conspiracy. So what can we conclude from this enduring debate? The moon landing stands as one of humanity's greatest achievements, a testament to what can be accomplished through ingenuity, perseverance, and a collective desire to push the boundaries of exploration. The conspiracy theories, while intriguing, are built on misunderstandings, selective evidence, and a profound skepticism of authority. As we look to the future with plans for returning to the moon and even reaching Mars, it is crucial to remember the lessons of the past and strive for a world where scientific achievements are celebrated and trusted. In the end, whether you are a staunch believer in the moon landing or a curious skeptic, the story of Apollo 11 invites us to marvel at the incredible journey of human discovery and to question the narratives that shape our understanding of history. As we continue to explore the cosmos, may our quest for knowledge be guided by curiosity, critical thinking, and an unwavering commitment to uncovering the truth.